Ladies and gentlemen of the Shrek Gaming Intercom video, let's discuss the whole Pirate Bay situation. I'm sure many of you are aware of this, but the Pirate Bay has been taken down. Now, as far as I understand it, they've not just closed the servers down. So this isn't just a case of, well, they've closed them down, as in, you know, they've taken down one website, but they've actually seized the servers. They actually targeted a data center in, Stock in Stockholm, obviously in Sweden, seized the servers, and have completely and utterly taken them offline. So currently, there is a way that you can kind of access some of the site, and that's through proxy mirrors. So some people have reported, oh, the website's actually kind of working. Um, but that's mostly because of catched uh, content. So from what I'm reading... Uh, torrents and stuff are just not working. It's inaccessible. So, it's actually a little weird because one of the former members of the Pirate Bay actually was just released from prison. His name is actually Peter Sunday. And he said, well, you know, he was a former spokesperson and he actually believes that the Pirate Bay should stay down. As I said, he was one of the kind of founders. He was one of the speakers for the, you know, Pirate Bay. But he believes that they, it should just stay down. He says the Pirate Bay was raided again. And that happened over 8 years ago last time. And a lot of people went on protests and the rallies in the street. And today few seem to care. And I'm one of them. One of the reasons he said this is that he reckons that the site was ugly for the bugs. Old code. Old designs that never changed. In addition to that. He cites the fact that since it went to new management. You know. It, 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 he reckons it just went to hell. So, he personally is actually quite glad that the Pirate Bay uh, is done. Which is quite weird considering his involvement with it. But, well, that, there you go. Personally speaking, I'm not really surprised this has happened again. I mean, many people have likened this thing to Hydra from uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, where you take down one head and more pop up. It's, it's just like... So many times the website's been taken down, then it's been back up, then it's been legal issues, then they've had server raids, then they've had the domain thing blocked, or, you know, ISPs have blocked them in certain countries, and it, it, it's just, you know, there's so many different proxies to so many different bloody websites, but let's just be totally honest, the name here is the Pirate Bay. Now, there are other websites like for example you've got mega upload and one of the founders i've forgotten the guy's name to be honest i think it's kim something but anyway he um he was also in some problems with legal authorities as far as i understand i haven't been following the story super closely because of links to piracy and mega upload which i i don't think is super cool because there is some ambiguity there like mega upload you could argue that the primary purpose of it isn't piracy you can argue that it could be for anything even say fixes for dll files it could be whatever right it could even be that someone's created a mod for a game you know high resolution texture pack or whatever that's that that's what you can argue in other words it could even be something you've created yourself so in other words it's kind of down to uh interpretation but when you're going with something like the Pirate Bay, the name kind of gives it away. That's the problem. Now there are other um, there are other websites, of course, other torrent websites that were taken down. And I'm just reading these because I've not heard of them to be totally honest. Zoink and Easy TV. Um, they've also been taken down. The problem with all of this is that more are going to pop up. You're either going to get torrents or another thing. It always happens because people just are not willing oftentimes to pay for content. Now, we can argue about the moral issues with this, but if one was to do, to do a bit of research, if one wants to access the most popular films, uh, TV services, and all of the other bits and pieces, for example, in the United Kingdom, you need 27 services. 27 that means that you will get the most amount of content. You will be able to watch virtually anything from The Walking Dead to Game of Thrones to whatever. That means, of course, you need things such as Netflix, you need Love Film, and you're probably as well going to need VPN services and stuff like that, which is quite ridiculous. And that's why so much piracy exists. Um, so much of these TV shows are downloaded. Now, I, I'm not... 
I'm not giving people a get out of jail free card. I'm not saying it's right or whatever. But the problem is, until you really fix a lot of these issues, people are going to keep pirating. Because it's like... You know, you need so many bloody services to watch this stuff. I mean, personally speaking, I've got Amazon Prime or Love Film or whatever the hell the service used to be called. I've got Now TV, or at least are British services. I've got Netflix along with access to VPNs and stuff like that so I can actually watch some other content with Netflix. And I've got a couple of others as well. And even so, sometimes I'm looking through things and I'm like, I can't believe it doesn't have this film on Love Film or Netflix. And I go to another website, I'm like, no, it still doesn't have this film on Netflix or Love Film. And bear in mind, sometimes it's not even an old film. But eventually I just kind of give in and say, you know what, I'm just going to give in and watch something else or I'll just have to order the DVD or whatever. Fortunately, you know, I'm not going to pay, to be totally honest with you. If it's an older film, I had a hankering to watch, what was it, Batman Returns the other day? Yeah, Batman Returns, the old Tim Burton movie. And... They didn't have it on any of the services that I was searching for, even though I could have sworn they used to have it. But that's another problem. They keep removing these things. And eventually I just gave in and decided, hey, you know what? I'm just going to bloody well go to the store and buy it on DVD. I'm not going to buy a bloody Blu-ray version of the film. So I just bought the DVD version for like £2 or whatever it was. But that's kind of a problem. Basically speaking, I think piracy is going to continue for some time. Um... And simply because, well, I mean, Gabe Newell from Steam says one of the reasons of piracy is quite simple. It's convenience, um, which can be one way to interpret it, I suppose. Anyway, personally, I don't necessarily know if the Pirate Bay is going to be making a comeback. Who the hell knows? But of course, there's always going to be something that replaces it. And personally speaking... I think one of the big problems that the music industry had, this is my personal opinion on this, uh, as someone who was kind of really interested in the internet back when it was kind of new and downloading first, downloading of albums and piracy, and music piracy and whatever the hell you want to call it, became a thing like early Napster, that type of thing. And back then, it was just really obvious when MP3s were first starting to become a thing, there was like, why aren't why aren't big companies, you know, why aren't these record companies, why are they not jumping on this? Why are they not trying to make it a thing? It's It was so obvious back then that people just wanted, and that's the problem. The legal methods are just behind the curb, the, the, the desire for content. And it's just, it's not really good. And I think it's, it's really going to have to be resolved, to be totally and utterly honest with you. Um, but anyway... That's kind of the disconnect we have. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.